Hello, today we're going to t be talking about Excel, more specifically, an introduction to Excel. So I'm going to open it by clicking on the Excel icon, and I'm greeted with this screen. So what I'm going to be doing is creating a blank workbook, but you're also greeted by the screen where you could open up templates, and you've got a search bar up here, but that's not what we're talking about. So I'm going to just open up a good old-fashioned blank workbook. This is a good starting point. So this is an introduction to Excel, but it really could be considered an introduction to Office because the Office environment has uh, shares a lot of similarities from program to program. For example, we're going to be talking about Excel, but much of the same things I'm going to talk about could be said about Word. One of the first things you'll notice, um, so if you're new to 2013, is it's relatively green, right? That's, that's 2013. Word is a little bit blue. Um, you've got this ribbon up here. That's one of the big differences which happened about five years ago. These are known as tabs, home tab, insert tab, page layout tab. Notice when I click a tab, changes this. These are groups, clipboard group, font group, alignment group, and these are buttons, right? So like that is the conditional formatting button and that's the insert button. So when you're learning Word, Excel, PowerPoint, whatever piece of the office suite you're interested in, um, it's always a little bit intimidating because everything has three pieces to the instruction. On the Home tab, in the Font group, click Bold. On the Page Layout tab, in the Page Setup group, click Size. So there's three pieces, which is kind of nice because you know exactly where the thing is that you're looking for. What we're going to do today is just mess around with the Home tab. Uh, so that's the ribbon, just this piece up here is the ribbon. Rel and it's uh, one of the things which is present in all Office products. So here in Excel specifically, uh, I'm working with a worksheet, which is part of a workbook. A workbook is a collection of sheets. This workbook happens to have a single sheet, and it's called Sheet 1, which I can see down here. In previous versions of Word, there were three sheets like this. But a lot of the time, we didn't end up using those sheets, so now we just have one sheet, which is probably a good thing, a little less to worry about. Uh, the various pieces. Uh, Excel is made up of cells. This is a cell. This is a cell. This is a cell. I'm just clicking on cells. Um, cells are really the intersection of a column, which is denoted by letters, and a row, by, which is indicated by numbers. A, so the intersection of a column and a row is a cell. This is cell B4, as you can see in the address bar right here, name box. All right, this is C3, um, right, so column C row three. This right here is the formula bar, which eventually is going to be probably the reason that you're using Excel, um, but not this video. So this is the formula bar. These three buttons are relevant to that. And in later videos, we'll talk about functions and formatting and all the cool things you can do with Excel, but this is just getting started. Uh, so the way to navigate a workbook, I'm in cell A1. If I want to enter something, I'll find there's some data. I enter some data. Tab moves you to the right. Enter moves you down. Now notice it didn't move me down exactly. It moved. It was smart enough to realize that I was probably creating uh, some like a table of data. But do like if I just go over here and start pressing enter, it's going to take me down. Tab's going to take me to the right. That's one of those tricks which helps you to enter data quickly. Uh, not going to spend a lot of time talking about data entry, so that's good news. Um, all right, so I'm entering some some data in the cells. Another way that you can enter data is you can click in a cell like B3 and you can start entering things up here in the formula bar, right? There's not a real great incentive to doing it that way, but when you're actually writing a formula, that's probably where you're gonna wanna do it. Another one of the things that we should talk about quickly is the views, right? This is the normal view. This is a cust what you're probably accustomed to seeing in Excel. You can switch the view to page layout view, right? And this looks a lot different. And this is when you're starting out, you're like, whoa, whoa, what just happened? So a couple things happened. One is you can see now where if you were to print this document out, this spreadsheet, you can see that this would be page one and this would be a separate page if you put things over here. And this would be another page. When you are working with Excel, um, printing documents oftentimes is an afterthought and they usually don't print out very well because they get spread out across pages. This is also the header area if you're going to be working with a header. The question that people typically ask is, how do I get back to where I was? Well, one, do understand that there's nothing you can't do here. Ribbon didn't change, formula bar didn't change, data didn't change. But if you wanted to go back to normal view, you'd just click on normal view. And you can toggle back and forth. Do note that now I have these page break lines there. They don't do anything. They're just saying, hey, 
when your data flows past here, well, that's going to be a second page. And it's probably good to keep that in mind in the first place. The last thing that I'll talk about is, so I'm just clicking on cells. When I click on a cell, you could say I'm selecting the cell. I'm selecting cell D3. I'm selecting B6. If you click and drag, you're now selecting a range of cells. right? So I just selected the range D4 through D19. That's one of the very common things you're going to do in Excel. There's some tricks for it. Right, so click and drag is the method for selecting a range. But when you're starting off, you're probably just going to be selecting individual cells. So that's what I would call an introduction to Excel. A lot of what we just talked about can be applied to Word um, or PowerPoint or whatever Office product you're talking about. That was much of the vocabulary that you're going to need to get started. Uh, in the next video of this getting started, uh, we'll talk about formatting numbers, which is subject of its own. So thanks for watching. You now know how to get started with Excel.